Hey everybody, today I want to show you something really useful and really simple. How to set up a simple game settings object or really a singleton scriptable object that can sit inside your project and be accessed from your code really easily. I'm using this for my multiplayer mastery course just to get a project ID that's only available at editor time and I need it to be available at runtime. But I set up a little example with a couple extra fields like starting health, the starting level, maybe a critical health percent or other things. Things. This is a game settings object that's just sitting inside my resources folder and I'm going to show you what the script looks like now. This is the core of the script and really what you need to make it work. It's a scriptable object that's just another type instead of mono behavior. If you haven't used scriptable objects before, don't worry. They're very similar to mono behaviors, except you don't instantiate them in your scene. You have them in your project view instead. So we've got a game settings object that's a scriptable object. It has a create asset menu with a file name of game settings. So it's going to create a file named game settings wherever we do it. And it's going to be under the menu game slash settings. So right click hit create go to game and then settings once the object's created i'll be able to access it through this instance property just by calling game settings dot instance and then whatever property that i want to access on there and that's because if it doesn't exist if it hasn't already found it and cached it on line six here when we get down to line 12 what it'll do is load it from that resources folder automatically on line 14 well i say automatically but we're forcing it to do it right there it'll cache that into that static variable and then return it again nothing complicated here but something I think extremely useful if you haven't used this pattern before, if you need to put some data into the project and you just want to be able to access it from outside, you can just call game settings.instance.starting health or critical level percent or get whatever prefab or whatever other thing you need. Again, in my case, I just need to get this project ID from a cloud project settings that's only available in the editor. I need to get that cached and saved off. And this is a great way to do it because I can put whatever other interesting and useful stuff I want here as well. So I hope this was helpful. If you got other tips like this, please drop them down in the comments. And if you have questions about this or thoughts about it, um, let me know. Other than that, don't forget to hit the uh, thumbs up button and check out all the links in the description. See you later.